Hey, it's Arx from Android Central, and this is the LG G3. It's a successor to last year's G2, the first phone that adopted rear buttons that we now find across LG's entire lineup. On the G2 specifically, it's a hardware characteristic that allows that phone to have such small bezels. And they're back again this year on the G3. They look a lot different this time around with a more pronounced texture to them, which makes it a bit easier to see which one you're pressing. For the most part, they work the same way as they did before. You can use a central power button to lock or unlock the phone, and that works just like any other Android device. Of course, just like on the G2, you can lock and unlock using the knock-on feature as well. Just double tap to switch on the phone or switch it off. Same deal with the volume keys. Up for volume up, down for volume down, obviously. And you can take a screenshot by long pressing the power and volume down keys together. You can also use the volume keys as shortcuts when the screen's off to jump into either the QMemo note-taking app or into the camera. To do that, just long press either of them when the phone's asleep. Under the shortcut key setting, you can turn this on or off, but there doesn't seem to be any way to remap them to apps of your own choosing. So, back buttons are back again on the G3. It's a change of pace for most Android phones which stick with side-mounted keys, but having not used the G2 a whole lot, I've been surprised how quickly I've adjusted to the new setup, and it works really well with a larger phone like the G3. So stay tuned in the days ahead for even more LG G3 coverage on AndroidCentral.com.